What's going on guys? Um, it has been a while since I've last posted on here. Um, if you're new here, I am a filmmaker and content creator based in Tacoma, Washington. Today, I'll be showing you guys how I made my $300 real wood sit-stand desk. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. So first off, where did I even get a real wood sit-stand desk that is under $500? Well, the answer is Home Depot. They have the Husky line of tools and workbenches. So I snagged that off of Home Depot and it took, a, it took about a month to get here. So yeah, but also when the desk arrived, it came in like a full size semi truck. It was insane. I've never had a package arrive like that before. So that was new to me. But the desk was so heavy, I think it was about 118, 114 pounds when it's, you know, in its box. Not, not when it's put together like that, but when it's in its box. So it was super heavy. I had to help the delivery guys bring the package into my house. Hindsight, I should have put it in the garage from the beginning, but I wanted to see it. So I just had them put it in the living room and I was so excited that I just opened the box immediately. When the desk arrives, it arrives in like this birch color. There's no other options to choose from. So if you want like a darker color wood, like walnut, or the same color I have, which is espresso, or anything else like that's darker than birch, you're gonna have to get a different desk or just stain it like I did and you can save money. So let's talk about the materials that you're going to need. You'll need a sander, sandpaper, masking tape to cover the Husky logo if you purchase the same desk as me. Your preferred wood stain of choice, I went with espresso. Originally, I was going to go with walnut, but I just love the darker tone of this wood color so much better. A sponge brush, water, rubbing alcohol, microfiber cloth, and possibly a friend to make things easier on you. So now let's get into the staining process of the desk. So first things first, we had to sand off the original coat of the tabletop, and this part is super important to get right. And to be honest, well, we kind of screwed up in, the, in this part, um, but we'll get back to that. So make sure you sand it all down and get all of the original coating off. We did about three passes. We first used 80 grit on the first pass, then 120 grit on the second pass, and then 220 on the third pass to smooth everything out. Also, make sure you get the corners and edges of the desk as well. After wiping it all down, getting the sawdust off of the desk, we went on ahead and moved on to the next step. Next thing we did is hit it with some water and then wiped it all down to soften up and moisturize the wood. Next, we hit it with rubbing alcohol and then wiped it down as well. After we let it sit for about a few minutes, we then started to stain the desk. And right here is where we screwed up. Also, just to let you guys know, this is my first time ever doing any kind of woodwork at all, so don't judge me too harshly. If you guys have any tips for me, please let me know and put them down in the comments below, because I love to learn more about this stuff. In hindsight, we should have done at least one more pass on the sander, because as you see, the stain did not soak in all the way at all. The stain looks like it went on super heavy, and we used like a light coat of it but because we didn't get all the um, original coating off, it's just sitting on top of that. It's just sitting on top of the original coating and it clearly wasn't absorbing it at all, so. And to make things worse, cause this is my first time ever doing this, like I preface, I thought it was okay, so I just went on ahead and poured more stain on the wood. Which then also didn't soak either, so it was just a sticky, terrible mess it was not fun and a couple days of the stain not soaking into the wood because i just assumed it would um i hit up my friend darian and he came over after like an eight hour wedding day that we both had to do sanded off all the stain which was kind of heartbreaking to see but we had to we had to do it because we screwed up i screwed up and um yeah 
We hit it with Electra 20 to get all the stain off and the original coating off as well. Did we hit it with another pass of... That added another week to the process. Once we did that, the next day I went on ahead and applied the stain again and this time it actually worked. The stain soaked up. It soaked up a lot faster than it did originally last time it was taking like hours and days this time it only took like a couple hours after a couple hours of it soaking and it was dry i went out and applied another coat of stain and then let that sit then the next day i added the clear coat stain which is the protective finish i want to put on it's just so i could put cameras or dishes or whatever else that goes on my desk without worrying about it being scratched so yeah, I applied the first coat, sanded it down. I also got this wood stain marker that I picked up from my local hardware store, just so I can get to hard reach places like the Husky logo, or just places I missed, like corners of the desk. We also didn't bother touching the bottom of the desk, just cause nobody's gonna look at it, so yeah. Also I had screw holes, and I didn't feel like dealing with those screw holes. And after that whole process of staining it, it was finally time to move it into my office. So actually since previously recording this video, I've actually moved into my own home office this time instead of sharing my room, my bedroom as an office space and bedroom. So um, originally my boy Adam did help me move the desk into my office slash bedroom, but yeah, still shout out to him. But now it's in this office space. So yeah, we moved the desktop onto the legs, screwed everything in, and Adam may or may not have lost a nut on the crank handle. And here's the finished product of the desk. Honestly, it turned out way better than I expected it. It has this dope rustic type vibe to it, which I love, and this looks awesome. It's honestly a beautiful product and a wonderful backdrop for some product shots, or, you know, whatever. It works great for a lot of things. It's super versatile, which was the one thing I was looking for with a new desk. I also feel more content with this desk because I, you know, put in hard work in it to make it look good and to how I want it to look. So instead of just buying a desk that's already, you know, a walnut color or espresso, this desk has a much more deeper connection with me. Now, I still need to do cable management. I know that's coming. Just hold your horses. Um, I still don't know if I'm going to do a full review on this table yet. I doubt it, but if you guys want to see it, let me know. If you guys are interested in more content on this YouTube channel, please let me know. Uh, I love desk setups. I love interior designing, honestly, so I would love to do more of those types of videos. But I'm also trying to do more educational videos for business, filmmaking and just other related creative things. So yeah, I am more active on my Instagram. So if you want to go ahead and follow me there, you can. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys have any further questions, please let me know in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I will respond. But um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. See you in the next one. Peace.